Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining what is and how to use the Gantt view in monday.com. So once you log into monday.com of course you will come to the home screen. Now in order to use the Gantt view what we need to do is head over to our workspaces on the left hand side here, select workspaces and then we can go ahead and go to the board that we would like to create a Gantt view for. So I'm going to use this board as our example today. And as you can see here, we have got our dates on the timeline, and this is going to be important, of course, for our Gantt view. So from here, I'm going to press the Add View button, and then go to the Gantt view under the Dashboard Views, as you can see. So I'll select that, and then as you can see, we have now generated a Gantt view, and we've got our items on the left-hand side here, and we have got our timeline, so when that date is going to be relevant, or what the timeline is for each particular item. We can um, change our, um, our view from days to weeks, months, quarters and years if we so wish. So if I go quarters, <clears throat> you can see here we zoom in and zoom out accordingly. You're also able to scroll along as you can see using the scroller on the left hand side. Um, and of course, if you go back to the very beginning, <clears throat> not quite to the very beginning near 2012, but to the date relevant, of course, <laughs> then you can see here we have got all of our relevant timeline information. Now on the left hand side we can use the filter button to filter out relevant um, items so let's say we want to see all the status uh, that is stuck and as you can see it says there is one item that is stuck. I've applied that filter and then I'm going to exit out the full screen and then I should be able to find that particular, um, that particular item that is stuck or if not you can, do, uh, you can choose another one so as you can see this one is done. <clears throat> and I've added that filter and I can see here that on the Gantt view this item that is done was completed on the 25th to the 26th of September. So that is how to use the Gantt view. It's very simple. I hope you are already familiar with the Gantt view. Um, you can then go ahead and export to Excel if you so wish. And you've got the three dotted button on the right hand side where we can enter in full screen, rename it, duplicate, delete. And if you go to the settings button, you can see on the right hand side you can select the um, the, the boards to choose timeline columns so of course there are two options we've got the timeline and then we've got the date underneath as well and we've got label via view settings all of this good stuff here i'm not going to go through it all as <clears throat> you should be or I, I would imagine you are very familiar with all of the settings in monday.com uh, they seem to go across the board so it's nice and easy and that is how to access the gantt view in monday.com i hope this video has clearly explained what is and how to use the gantt view in monday.com if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.